THE HONOLULU PROSECUTOR'S OFFICE WANTS TO CRACK DOWN ON THE NUMBER OF DUI OFFENSES. IT'S ASKING STATE LAWMAKERS TO REQUIRE ALCOHOL MONITORING DEVICES FOR REPEAT OFFENDERS WHO ARE FACING MORE CHARGES. THE MEASURE HAS ALREADY PASSED THE SENATE, BUT ONE STATE AGENCY IS AGAINST IT, SAYING THE PROPOSAL IS DISCRIMINATORY. ELISA REVELO IS DIGGING DEEPER INTO THIS ISSUE. ELISA? Kathy, Honolulu Police and the State Department of Transportation are in support of the measure, but the State Public Defender's Office says the proposal misses the mark. If it becomes law, repeat offenders who are once again charged with the DUI would be required to wear a continuous alcohol monitoring device for 90 days as a condition of bail. Also known as a scram bracelet, the device detects the presence of alcohol by contact with the person's skin at least every half hour. If the defendant can't afford to pay for one, the court could authorize the state to foot the bill after a check of their financial status. But the state public defender's office says the measure discriminates against those with lower socioeconomic status. These um, people who are charged as repeat offenders won't be able to um, pay for a scram device and would have to sit in jail, whereas a, a person who has financial means won't even have to spend a single day in jail. The Honolulu prosecutor's office wasn't immediately available for a comment, but in testimony submitted to lawmakers, the office said its main interest is public safety and the intent is to prevent or minimize these types of criminal offenses. According to a study, in 2015, 54% of the traffic fatalities on state highways were alcohol or drug related. The state public defender's office tells me what's proposed won't actually stop someone from drinking and driving. We believe the priority should be placed on ignition interlock. Is this really deterring uh, the conduct that it's seeking to, to prevent? If alcohol consumption is the primary problem, then why not require some sort of treatment or why, why not do something else? The prosecutor's office also cited a Pennsylvania county in its testimony, saying of the 500 offenders with a scram bracelet, only 11 people drank while wearing one. The local Mothers Against Drunk, drunk, drunk Driving submitted testimony against the measure, also saying it doesn't prevent high-risk high risk convicted offenders from drinking and driving. The bill is now in the Senate and will be discussed tomorrow. I'm told if it makes it to the governor's office, the state public defender's office will ask him to veto it. Elisa Arevalo, KHON2 News.